If you're watching this in your underwear, don't worry, we won't judge. Me too. Hello players, welcome to Sexy Tech, guaranteed to lower your IQ. I am your host, the internet's Buzz Stringer. Let me just start out by saying I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being away for too long. I have an apology song, and this is the apology ukulele. Sorry for being away, but we are doing cringe today. Sometimes we say words, things that you shouldn't have heard, like ass, tits and penis. But that's just our way of bringing a smile to your day. Cock. Yeah, that might not be the last time I need to use the apology ukulele. As cringe as that was, surprisingly, it still wasn't as bad as Colleen Borlinger. I mean, sorry, Colleen Borlinger. The, she, she thought a 10 minute ukulele video could make up for all of her past wrongdoings. Honestly, I've seen more sincerity in a used car salesman's smile. <laughs> oh, we, we started. That might hurt, but not as much as trying to sit through one of her Miranda Sings videos. Ballinger is strumming up some controversy for those who don't know. Ballinger rose to fame with a satirical alter ego Miranda Sings. She's got more than 22 million subscribers and even had a Netflix show, but it seems that some of her fans are rethinking their fandom after these allegations surfaced. Allegations about Ballinger's behavior first came up in 2020 when YouTuber Adam McIntyre claimed that she formed an inappropriate personal friendship with him. Apparently she even sent him lingerie as a joke and YouTuber creator Cody Rantz alleged that Ballinger privately shared screenshots of messages with McIntyre in a group chat called Kalini's Weenies. <laughs> Seriously, Kalini's Weenies, what? What is it, a chat room or a hot dog stand? But she's not taking these accusations lightly. In a 10 minute ukulele apology song, God, that's gotta be the most millennial thing I've ever read. In her 10 minute ukulele apology song, she claims that she's not a groomer or a predator and that the only thing she's ever groomed is her two Persian cats. Well, Colleen, you better hope those cats don't start sharing screenshots too. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what we do here. Balling is ukulele apology, of course, was a wild misfire and it sparked a wave of reactions online with her name trending in Twitter, memes flooding the internet, and YouTubers you've never heard of writing monologues about it. And if that's all you came here for, well, I hope you enjoyed it. But we've got some other stories, like the Reddit dumpster fire. We did it, Reddit! We killed Reddit, <laughs> sort of. The magic of Reddit is fading away faster than the cat meme in r slash dog lovers. We are bidding farewell to several mobile apps that have been a lifeline for Redditors as they close up shop, all thanks to Redditors, to Redditors? No, 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 to Reddit's decision to charge access for its API. Reddit's API is a tool that allows developers to access and use data from Reddit's websites in their own applications. Reddit CEO Steve Huffman justified the move by saying they don't want to give all of that valuable data to the largest companies in the world for free. And I mean, I, I, I get it, Steve. I get why you're, why you're doing this. Why do something good for humanity when you can charge for it? <laughs> but let's not forget that it's his users who built Reddit from scratch, transforming it from an empty website into a bustling digital city of community. Without its users, Reddit would be like the digital tumbleweed rolling through a barren wasteland of the internet. Poetry. That, that, that's poetry. I should write for r slash Shakespeare. That's not going to be there much longer. The protest against Reddit's decision was no joke, as the mods of nearly 9,000 subreddits switched to private, which created a void of conversation on the site. It's like a virtual ghost town. Even Google search results felt the impact. I mean, you know it's serious when, when Google gets involved, although I won't worry they don't really stick around for very long. The, the revolt made waves, and this kind of thing can, can, can wreck a platform. It's like if Reddit was The Simpsons, it's just finished season eight. It's, it's all downhill from here. The moderators are the true MVPs of Reddit, these brave souls who tirelessly, for free, keep the community in check, sorting through posts, enforcing rules, dealing with more trolls under a bridge than a construction site. And what do they get in return? A thank you? A, a hug? A well done pattern? Of course not, it's Reddit. They are threatening to kick them out if they protest. Firing your volunteers is a great move, Spez. What a Spez. Now, NVIDIA hates gamers. It's becoming quite obvious. The highly anticipated RTX 4060 graphics card. Did I really write that? Highly anticipated, where's that ukulele? 
Well, the reviews are pouring in like a waterfall of disappointment. Linus Tech Tips called it a wet fart of a GPU, and that's the level that we need for this show. <laughs> Hardware and Box claimed it's a slap in the face to gamers. But wait, it's not all doom and gloom. Some brave souls dare to say a few nice things about the 4060. According to Ars Technica's Andrew Cunningham, if you're building an $800 to $1,000 gaming PC, this card is one to go for. Well, at least it found its niche, mid-range mediocrity. <laughs> Tom's Hardware, Jared Walton, said that the 4060 is faster than the previous generation, which is like saying a tortoise outruns a snail. Sure, it's faster, but I mean, are we really gonna throw a parade for that? Now, here's the kicker. Reviews are all in agreement that this poor GPU suffers from a 128-bit memory bus and a mere eight gigabytes of VRAM. And, you know, Really? I mean, are we talking about graphics cards here or a digital abacus? <laughs> it's like NVIDIA sent their engineers on vacations and said, yeah, you know, interns, you, you can finish this one for us. The 4060 is not just occasionally losing to the 3060, it's almost getting completely annihilated by the 3060 Ti. Again, another card from a previous generation. So what's the best way to spend your hard-earned cash? Well, the options are endless. You could snag a discounted 3060 Ti or try your luck with the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT. There's a lot of letters in there. Heck, you might even try to find an eBay treasure for a pre-owned 3070. The only real improvements for 4060 are DLSS 3 and frame gen, which is fancy upscaling and fake frame insertion. And not all games support it, and it introduces visual artifacts. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the only place that the 4060 outperforms anything. So skip this one. May your frame rates be real and your GPU not a 4060. <laughs> hour out of time. What did we miss this week? Oh yeah, Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg in a steel cage match. Yeah, get ready for some bite-sized brawling. Honestly, I don't mind if both of them lose. <laughs> Stay sexy and be excellent to each other. I was going to tell you a joke about construction, but I'm still working on it.